Hey, what is up, Sky Rim Nation? It's your boy Jelly Bean. Here we are today. We're looking at another beautiful. This time we're looking at a castle, and as you can see, this is the castle here. It's a Solstein's Castle. It's rather pricey, but it is a beautiful castle. You do get a lot of bang for your buck. So, I started a little away from it because I'm going to walk up to it. There is a lot to see. I'm sorry this video is going to be a little bit lengthy, but it is absolutely amazing. So, here we are. We're in the courtyard. And look at these beautiful trees. Falling leaves. Just absolutely gorgeous. Now, if you go to the front door, there's a for sale sign. The house is 40,000 gold. If you mod Skyrim, the money shouldn't be any problem. But let's take a look at what we get on the outside first. So we'll start over here. Of course, back there you have the stables. And you can see a couple of my children sitting there. One is playing some instruments, just enjoying the, the day outside. So, and here you have an alchemy shack. Of course, you have the fertile soil, so you can plant some plants and a little storage chest there. Just so, as you can see, you can see through the windows of it. And I love when they make the windows that you can see through. So this is just a little alchemy shack. Then over here you got stable. It looks like it's able to store two horses at least. And again, some more fertile soil for plants. So very, very nice. There's the castle itself, but we'll be getting to it soon enough. There is a ton to see. It's 40,000 gold, but you get so much bang for your buck. Once we get seeing through it, And as you can see, I've changed the clothing on all the kids. And over here, you have your blacksmith. You have a dedicated blacksmith. And he is a merchant. You can buy things off of him. So you have this little blacksmithing area. With all your typical blacksmithing tools. And then over here you have a beautiful outside pool. A little place for sitting. So that's the outside. Now, there's, well, there's quite a few parts to this castle. But for now, we'll go into this building here. Now this building is the castle's archive. Now if you like collecting books and storing books and everything, you're just going to love this, this place. But I'll see you in the inside. Okay, so here we are. We're in the, we're in the archive now. It's basically almost like a, a gigantic library. But we're going to start over here on the right hand side. And you can see this is a little chanting area. Now the NPCs in here are either merchants or they could be followers. As you can see, it is done in the style of the houses you would see in uh, Solitude, which is really nice because I really love that architecture. Because, like, look at this detail here. For let's just get a little closer. How they done the dragon. So basically here you have all your enchanting needs and your alchemy and a little staff enchanter over here. Now this is the first time I've seen a mod where some of the merchants have a first and last name. Usually they just have a first name, but he's gone that extra step to give them a first and last name. Now when we get to the other side, and I say if you're a book hoarder or you like storing books, You'll be able to store a lot of books around here. As you can see, I've already started putting some books in, but i got a long way to go. Okay. Now look at all this storage for books. 
This is all for books. Nice little sitting area by the fire and of course another painting over the fireplace. You know how I am about paintings. I love my paintings. So as you can see you can store quite a few books here. Just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So let's head upstairs and we'll see what's upstairs, shall we? Like I said, it's done in the style of the houses you would see in solitude. Now if you look at the detail on the, on the um, cement work, I love that kind of little detail. So of course up here, we have this beautiful dining area. Okay. So we'll start off here on the right again. And here you have like a little office slash church or temple. With again, more storages for books. Let's just close that. So with all the books that there are in Skyrim, what I look at is I look at this and I look at it as a challenge. Oh, let's look at the painting. Oh my God, more paintings. Now, I look at it as a challenge to see if, through a single playthrough, will I be able to fill all these bookshelves? Like, look at this. Isn't this just beautiful? Now, I like how they've done this on either side of the books. That is a fantastic touch. And then, we go through here, and what do we have? More book storage. Look at that beautiful painting. So like I said, it will be an extreme challenge to fill all of this. So if you do a single playthrough, I'd love to see if you guys could actually fill all this because I know I'm going to give it one hell of a try. So I don't, it's called an archive, but I think it's more of an archive slash library. And of course you just have this little sitting area. Now you got to remember, we haven't been to the castle yet. This is just one building. This is just the archive building. So let's head downstairs, shall we? We'll see what's in the basement or the lower level. So for 40,000 gold, so far, you're getting quite the bang for your buck. Okay, we'll start off here on the right. And this, I guess, would be the quarters. Like, look at that little detail on this, on the cement. Like, when they go this extra mile to put in this kind of a detail... Rather than just leaving it plain, you've got to love it. You've got to give the mod author credit. So, of course, here you have the bedrooms. Just fantastic. Just fantastic. Of course, you got to have a little bar. You need the bar. But we'll go that way in a second. So this would be their little 
area for relaxing after a hard day at the library or slash archive. Still can't believe that. Oh, that's absolutely amazing. I love that so much. And here we go, we've got your kitchen. bedroom area for all your kitchen stuff. Nothing too fancy, but your typical bedroom that you would see. So, believe it or not, we're still not finished with this building. There is still a whole other section to go through in just this building alone. And that's over here. So I'll get inside there and we'll take a look around there. Okay, so now we're down in the vault. As you can see, I'm still, I've am still i been adding some stuff. It has your unique, unique storage. It has... Uh, your common weapons and as you can see I've already been adding to it now this is just one room but you have all these chests all over the place they're all over the place you can store so much stuff down here it's unbelievable Now, are you ready for this? How is this for an armory? Can you believe all of this? And as you can see, all of these chests. Okay, we'll go down there in just a second. But like I said, as you can see, I've already started putting some stuff on the mannequins and storing some weapons. But just look at the size of this place. Then you have this great little room. As you can see, I've already put some amulets up there.
And believe it or not, that's not all there is. We have two more rooms of stuff, of storage area, that we can go through. So, but in this building alone, you can store a tremendous, an absolute tremendous amount of stuff. So, like, I'm challenging myself personally. I'm challenging myself to fill this whole area. Books, armor, weapons. That, that's my challenge. I always try and find myself a little challenge with every playthrough. And I think this one will give me one tremendous amount of a challenge. Just try and fill all of this. Okay, we'll go down there in just a second. Now, with this room, you can access it from the castle. As you can see right there, that's the castle. So you can access it not only from this building, but you can access it from the, the castle itself. So let's go take a look at the underground chambers. So I'll see you in the underground chambers. Okay, so here we are. We're in the underground chambers. This is just basically where all the staff would stay. Well, another area. Not the area, but... Just another area that the staff would stay. Now down here you're going to find a tremendous amount of bedrooms. That of course there leads up to the castle, which we will be getting to. Believe me, we will. But there is just so much to see in here. So basically what you're going to find there is one of the NPCs. So basically what you're going to find is you're going to find a whole bunch of bedrooms down here. They're all basically the same style. You know, simple, comfy beds, wardrobes. And then here's this beautiful, beautiful pool area. Now what you're going to find is all around the pool is bedrooms. I've opened all the doors ahead of time. Like I said, they're basically all the same style. There's nothing really fancy about them. Of course, what chambers wouldn't be complete without a bar? This nice little sitting area. Then again, with the beautiful, beautiful artwork. Now this bedroom has a double bed, so I guess they're lucky to get a double bed. Oh, another double bed. So this is basically it for the underground chambers. Like a nice, a nice little place for all the NPCs to gather and relax and reminisce about the day. So now that we've seen this building, I guess it now would be a good time to go see the castle. What do you guys think? So I'll head out of here and I'll head up to the castle and then we'll start touring the castle. How can you believe that all of this is just one building and we haven't even seen the castle yet? But we'll be seeing the castle now, so I'll meet you upstairs in the castle. Okay, so here we are, we're in the castle. And what a grand entrance. Look at this. Isn't this amazing? 
Can you believe it took us this long just to get to the castle? This is how much mo what you're really getting for your money. You are getting a tremendous bang for your buck. It is just absolutely amazing. Make you see my kids. Hi guys. Wearing all their brand new clothing. So this is the main level. I still think it's absolutely amazing that he went to the point of giving the NPCs a first and a last name. You don't see that much. Of course you got your little kitchen here. Look at the size of those. Look at the size of that meat. Holy moly. But look at this for a dining room. Can you believe this? storage room behind the bar type scene. And then of course another pool. You can never have too many pools. But look at the windows. See this is what I love. Like the when when the mod author goes to the detail of making these windows with this much detail. Like unbelievable just incredible like just look at the ceiling look at the domes ah oh, absolutely beautiful there is so much detail Okay, that was the kitchen. We've been through the kitchen. And we've been behind the bar. So that's basically it for the downstairs of the castle. Okay, that, see? Through the castle, you can get to the underground chambers. You can get to the vaults, so... Just look at that. Oh. But let's head upstairs now, shall we? There isn't a heck of a lot to the castle itself. You can have six children. You can have a ton of followers, as you can see. That not a beautiful painting. I'm sorry, people. I'm a sucker for paintings. I love the paintings. But look at these grand stairwells. And there's a detail again. Look at that. Now there's one thing when we get up here that doesn't make a lot of sense to me, and I'll explain that when we get there. Just beautiful. We'll go to that section in a minute, so I can show you what. That's really making a lot of sense. Jeez, I hope these guys aren't working too hard. Sheesh. And again with the personalized banners. Oh, I love the personalized banners. Look. This is standing here, looking down at the lower level.
And then through here is the kids' room. Give you a chance to look at all my kids. This is the children's bedroom. So basically up here is just basically the master bedroom and the children's bedroom and the throne room. In the throne room, they, they've used to divide the master suite from the children's bedroom. So now we're going to go to the master bedroom and I'm going to show you what doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I, I don't know why the mod author did this, but I'm sure he had his reasons. Now. When you go to go into the master bedroom, instead of just the doors opening, you literally have to go through a loading door. So, I'm going to pause the video here, go through the loading door, and then we'll be into the master bedroom. Okay, so here we are. We're in the master bedroom. And like I said, I don't understand why he made it a loading door, but I'm sure he had his reasons. So now, over here, before we get too far, there's two buttons here. So you can have the auto undress enabled or disabled at the pools. Because I make videos, I always have it disabled. Now, if you don't want that many NPCs running through the castle or any NPCs at all, you can enable and disable the NPCs. Me, I like having the NPCs because they're merchants and they can be possible followers. Plus, it adds a little bit of a population to your castle. So this is your master bedroom. It's just absolutely beautiful. And of course the grand bathroom or pool or whatever you want to call it. Now those shields and weapons that are on the wall there, if you don't like them, if you want to personalize them, let me just check. I Yes. You can take them off and put your own personal shield and weapons on. So you don't have to leave them like this. You can personalize them, which is really, really nice. So that is the mass bedroom. And like I said, I don't understand why he made it a loading door. But I'm sure he had his reasons. But one more section to see, and then we'll be ending the video there. So I'll see you in the next section. So here we are. We're on the upstairs balcony. And look at this. It has a hot tub up here. But just look at the view you get. There's solitude in the distance. Oh, I guess I better show you where this is located, shouldn't I? <laughs> It's it's located in um oh great we got rain let's get under the shade here just a nice little sitting area your own personal cloud district how about that okay so now I'm going to show you where it's located it's in an unusual location. Stand over here out of the rain. So, so this is where we're located. Sundren Towers, Reach Stormcloak Camp, Byers Retreat, Cliffside Retreat, Broken Tower Rideau. So the nearest town is over here is Karth Western now the reason why we could see solitude is because there's solitude up there so that is basically where it, where it's located 
So, thank you for joining me on this little journey. If you enjoyed know, this saw, uh, please leave it a thumbs up and please subscribe. It helps me out immensely. So, I'm Jelly Bean, and always remember where the road, wherever the journey takes you, the road always rides up to greet you. I'll see you in the next video.